season one was about uh, discovery and about a new experience and about getting to know each other. Promise me that we'll always find the way back to each other. At the end of season two, um, Jamie has gone back to Kragnodon. He's sending Claire and their unborn child um, to, to live, to survive. They are escaping. Uh, he sends them off back to the future. I'm back. And I am so grateful. We will see sort of little vignettes or little glimpses into Claire's life. She's put aside maybe her desire for ever having love again. I think that she felt that she experienced something so unique and so passionate that she's sort of ticked that box in some ways. And I think in some ways she's been pretty much asexual in the 20 years that her and Jamie are apart. We're older, <laughs> it's gonna be terrible. No, they've both aged and, and become slightly different people, so then they have to relearn each other. So yes, they've always used sex and that sort of intimate relationship as, uh, as, a, as a sort of base towards, in their relationship, it helps them sort of reconnect with each other. But yeah, it's gonna be uh, an interesting process for them to discover their, their uh, the years that they lost. Jamie and Claire's love anyway, no matter what, it survives time and it will be as passionate as it was before, but it's definitely going to be a period of discovery. And, and I think also there's probably going to be shyness, which I think is really nice. 